seeing old friends, making new friends, here with Jesus, we're connected. Off kids, my name is Miss Beth, and I am going to be your host for today. All right, if it, this is your first Sunday tuning in to us, we are so glad that you decided to join us. And you have joined us at a perfect time because we are learning about spiritual disciplines. And today we are going to be learning about how when we pray to God, He hears our prayers. So go ahead, clear your environment so that you have a distraction-free setting. And go ahead and let's get ready to hear from God today. So I'm going to pray for us, and then we are going to jump right into this message. God, we love you so much. God, I thank you for each one of these children that are listening today. God, I pray, God, that they can hear from you. God, I pray, God, that they will learn and remember that their prayers matter, God, and that you care about us, and you care about what's on our heart. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'll see you soon. Hey, Alyssa, guess what time it is? It's time to give our tithes and offerings. Are you ready to give back to God? Always. And while we do that, I wanted to answer this tough question we got from our friend Colin. He writes, This is kind of hard to ask, but what if I don't have much money to give to God? I'm so glad you asked, Colin. Sometimes it can feel like we don't have much to give God. But, you know, God doesn't care if your gift is small. He just cares about our hearts when we give. He loves a good attitude. He wants us to obey Him by giving a tithe. So we give 10% of our money to God first, even if it's a small amount. It might seem like God would only be happy if you're giving a gigantic stack of money. The Bible talks about a woman who didn't have much money, but still gave an offering. God saw how much it cost her to give that little bit. He was impressed by her giving heart, not by the amount of what she gave. Even when you give a small gift, God can use it to make a big difference. God knows our hearts and loves to see us giving and being obedient. Thanks for that awesome question, Colin. And thanks for giving. Because giving is a great way to share share what what you have have and put put God God first. first. recently is really interfering with our signal. Maybe if I try, oh, that helped a little, but it's still pretty weak. Hey, watch this, would you? I still need to go get the bag of cat food. What are you talking about? Well, I ran into Tony as he was heading up to go mess with the antenna, and he said something about there being a bunch of cats and dogs outside. Actually, he might have said it's raining cats and dogs outside. Oh, that would have made a bit more sense, wouldn't it? We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. Mike, and this is the time we learned how to get closer to God. Whew, it's raining cats and dogs out there. See, that time I heard it. How's it going? Well, all this weather is really interfering with our signal, so Tony went up to the roof to try to adjust the antenna, but not entirely sure how much that's gonna help. Yeah, and the lack of signal is making it really difficult to communicate with other people here at Connect HQ. Hey. We got a postcard at least. Man, those postal workers really make good on their motto, am I right, guys? <laughs> what? No? Really? Neither snow nor rain nor heat nor gloom of night? Nothing? <sighs> Whatever, what does the postcard say? 
The Bible says we have spirits, and when we get close to God, we grow fruit of the spirits. But how do we get close to God when He is invisible? And what are spirits and fruit of the spirit? And what happens when we spend time away from God? Signed, Kelsey. Ooh, wow, that is a lot of questions. But they're good ones. And signal or no signal, I bet we can figure out how to answer them. Hey, is that? Wow, I'm surprised anybody can get through with all this weather. Hello? I need... T Tony, Tony, you're breaking up. You need the banana. Split. Yeah. Okay, you got it, man. We'll take care of everything down here. Mike, you understood that? What does he want us to do? You heard the man. What we need are banana splits. Let's go. That was delicious. I can't remember the last time I had a banana split for lunch. I try to have at least one every week. Why does that not surprise me? <laughs> you know, I'm still thinking about Kelsey's questions. What is fruit of the spirit? Well, I can tell you this isn't the sort of fruit the Bible's talking about. Fortunately, I have the perfect Bible link in our archives to help answer Kelsey's question. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. Is alive. Jesus said, I am the vine, and you, the people, are the branches. Branch? I'm not a branch. I don't mean like a tree branch. I don't get it. The vine and branches were used by Jesus as an example. It means you are a child of the King. That's Jesus. Really? That's awesome. Does that mean I get to wear a crown? It gets even better than that. Not only are we children of the King, but when we look like Jesus, we will have fruit that sets us apart. Oh yeah, I remember love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Those fruits come from being connected to Jesus, right? Yes, that's exactly right. And Jesus even says that those who remain connected to Him will produce fruit. But apart from him, you can do nothing. Kind of like when a light isn't plugged into a wall? Exactly like that. Just like a light cannot function without being plugged in, we cannot function without being connected to Jesus. Jesus loves us so much that he wants to be close to us. Like, really close. He wants to be our greatest friend. Really? So how do you get that close to Jesus? By following God's commands and doing things like praying and attending church, we can get close to Him, and in return, He will get even closer to us. Jesus said that in doing this, we become like the disciples. They were really close to Jesus, like best friend close. And we can be too. We just have to stay connected to God all the time, not just in church. He is the vine, and we are the branches. And as long as we remain in Him, we will grow much fruit. So love and joy and all the rest are fruit of the Spirit. That's right. Our bodies are our true selves. Our spirits are who we really are, and they were made to be close to God. When we do things to get closer to God, like praying, reading our Bible, going to church or worshiping, God helps us to grow our fruit of the Spirit, just like a vine nourishes the branches that are connected to it. Got it. Thanks for helping me wrap my mind around all that. Oh, look. Tony's trying to get a hold of us. Let's go see if our banana splits helped with the signal. <sighs> oh, well, the signal's still pretty weak, but let's give it a shot. Hey, can you hear me? Communication signal still pretty weak. Working on antenna. Tony! Did the banana splits help at all? What else can we do to help boost the signal? It's raining cats and dogs out here. Well, of course. 
That's clear as day. Mike, I need you to run in place an hour. Very important. When you running, wear sparkly vest, cowboy boots, top hat. Very important. We lost the signal. Those instructions were odd. Well, if he needs us to run in place while wearing some wacky clothing to help boost the signal, then that's what I'll do. Mike, I think the signal is so weak that it's garbling everything Tony says. I mean, do you really think wearing a sparkly vest and cowboy boots will be of any use to him out there? Harper, signals are a wacky thing. You never know what will help boost them. At this point, I think the only thing that'll help is if we get closer to Tony, which now that I mention it, it reminded me of a verse that we could use to help Kelsey. Want me to teach it to you both? Sure. Yeah. It's from the book of James, chapter 4, verse 8. Come on, let's learn it together. James 4, 8. James, James 4, 4 8. 8. Come close to God. Come, come close, close to God. God. And God will come close to you. And, and God, God will come, come close, close to, to you. you. Just like if we were closer to Tony, we would understand him better. When we're close to God, we can understand him better too. Sure, I get that, but... But, but what? Just in case Tony really needed us to do those wacky things, I'm not gonna let him down, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Jaden, do you wanna help me? I have the time. To the costume closet! How's it going, you two? Oh, we gotta keep running. Must keep running! <laughs> The signal strength still hasn't improved at all. Of course it hasn't. He said we need to run for an hour. We only have 51 minutes more to go. Oh, uh, what's going on? Oh, just wait until you hear. Tony, we are on track. We're gonna get that signal back to full strength anytime. Woo. Mike, Jaden, why don't you guys just stop for a second? Yeah, but, but you said that we need to run in place for an hour with a top hat, sparkly vest, and cowboy boots, which, by the way, are very stylish. Thank you for the recommendation. Um, I think my call may have gotten messed up due to the low signal. Really? Yeah, let's pull up the surveillance for around the time whenever I made the call. I need you to run a signal test. It should already be in place. Oh, okay, so it might take it might take a little while to run. It might take an hour or so. But when you're ready to get it up and running, you have to know where the password is. It's very oh, it's very very important. Oh man, this is a big storm. Whoa, whoa! It's a little too close for comfort. But it's very important you know what the password is. I think it's, I think it's a, a, a sparkly vest or a cowboy boots or a, 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 a top hat. It might be top hat. I don't know. Oh, oh, I haven't seen the storm like this in forever. That wasn't the most flattering video of myself, but um, yeah, you heard what I said. Well, what about the banana split? Did that help anything? I don't know anything about a banana split, but I did say find the banana colored wire under the console and see if you could split it. Oh, I'm sorry, I really tried to help, but I couldn't understand anything you were saying. I guess the signal was too weak to communicate. Wait, that's okay. Now that the rain is gone, the signal will get back up to full strength and everything will come through clear. The rain stopped? Yeah, yeah, so all calls should come through crystal clear but I think I'm gonna go ahead and go do a signal check just in case. You know, you may not have been able to help Tony like you were hoping, but your experiences just now might be able to help answer Kelsey's questions. How so? I think I know how. Go for it, Jaden. Okay, so if getting closer to God is like having a strong signal, then spending time away from him is like having a weak signal. It makes it harder for us to understand what he wants us to do. And having a weak signal can make us do some wacky things. I couldn't have said it better myself. That's why it's always good to remember, Jesus is my closest friend when I spend my time with him. 
Jesus is my closest friend. When I spend my time with him. That's it. I think we answered all of Kelsey's questions. Would you two mind if I made the transmission for her? Not at all. <laughs> Thanks. You know, I think this is a good look. I know, right? Hi, Kelsey. My name is Jaden, and I work with Connect HQ. I learned a great Bible verse today. I'd like to teach it to you. Say it with me like this. James 4, 8. Come close to God, and God will come close to you. Each of us has a spirit, our true selves. Our spirits are made to be near God, and we're at our best when we're close together. We're a lot like vines and branches in that way. Just like a vine supports its branches and helps them grow fruit, God helps us when we're close to Him. Through Him, we grow fruit of the Spirit, like love and kindness. There are a lot of things we can do to make our connection to God better, even though He's invisible. When we pray and read our Bible, it's easier to understand God. But when we don't spend time with God, our connection to Him is weaker, and we might not always understand what He's trying to tell us. Remember this point. Jesus is my closest friend when I spend my time with Him. When you stay close by God's side, He'll take care of you. And don't forget, Connect HQ is here to help you. What a great reminder that when we pray night or day, God listens to what we say. All right, boys and girls, that ends our time together today. But I want you to stay tuned because we're going to end in worship. So go ahead, stand up, and get ready to worship God, and I'll see you next week.